So you um you spent less than twenty five dollars out of your what? My savings. Out of your what? My savings. So that's there we go again. He took the time to save his money and have money available when that old word came along. What's that? Opportunity. When the opportunity came around, exactly. Wonderful. Okay, so um your goal is by the twenty fourth to have a uh, hundred dollars wow. worth of sales. Wow. I'm not talking about donations, straight sales. Did you get a receipt book? A receipt book? No, not yet. So you need to get your receipt. You see, you got your first customer. You got to receive, get a receipt book to keep track of your, your finances. Mm, I, I got All cash right? apps. So well, you make sure you got your cash app to keep track of it. Also, um, get you a bookkeeping book so you can keep track of it, like, this, like the stuff you invested in for the receipts and all that to keep. And your job is to do what? Cut costs to the bone. All right. Well, okay, so you're going good. Remember, you need some consultant. Always, you can always consult with me. The next business we're going to see is uh, Megan. Okay. So my business is I cook for people. I sell a place at school. And I sell a place to the community. Okay. So what's the name of your business? Megan Cooks. Okay. Megan Cooks. Okay. What's the name of your business? Cam Cleaners. Cam Cleaners. All right. What about yours? So you're um, you're selling dishes now. I know you when you go through some personal things because I I want to be a customer because uh, problems create what opportunity. opportunity opportunity again problems create what opportunity. opportunity opportunities to make money so and what's the most valuable thing on the planet Stand time. Up your time 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 that's why people charge we work for somebody charge per hour or whatever time. So, I'm having a problem with making sure my students get fruit. Yeah. So, I wanted Megan to maybe do some fruit trays, give me a price, and I was going to price it out. I, my, her mom said she would ask her, let her know. But, see, that's another opportunity because uh, when we do the bananas or whatever, we may have gnats in the room and stuff like that. So, that's an opportunity for Megan to make some money on a fruit tray where she takes the fruit, cut it up, whatever. She can say, well, I need a deposit to go get the fruit. Once I get the deposit, give her the deposit to go get the fruit, she could get a nice thing of fruit. Then as she cut it, because see, what I'm really looking for on the fruit tray is the display. Make it look all pretty and everything. And then she could charge what she wants to charge. And then she said, I did not like it. Boom. Now, how many, how many days, pay attention, brother. How many days do I have fruit in that room? Uh, Almost every day. Yeah. Which is every how many day. days a week? Five days out of the week. You got Monday, six. six days out of the week. Yeah. No, I go Monday. I, I go Monday through Friday. Cut out Thursday, and we Saturday. Okay. So that's six days, which means conveniently for me, I could just order through her Instagram or order. Go to her mom, whatever. Put an order in. She, boom. We got Cash App. Thankfully, got a lot of stuff nowadays to make it easy to do business. Cell phones, Cash App, whatever. So I cash out her the money, boom. She showed up the next day. That fruit is taken care of. She showed up the next day, fruit tray. Mm -hmm. I take a picture of it. Oh, she take a picture of it. Now I'm doing fruit trays. Boom, boom, boom. What I would like to see is a different variety of fruit trays every day. Even for her business. A variety of different fruit trays. So by 24th, she's got at least a minimum of $100 by the 24th. Get your receipt books. You, get, you probably got cash out, whatever. Um... Everybody, we need to put these businesses on display. We need to get you a trifold, um, trifold board or whatever. And we can put these businesses on display. Now, when we get a first place trophy, we don't give our first place trophy. First place is one hundred dollars. Second place fifty. Third place twenty five dollars. All right. Um, Scott, what's your business? My business is about bracelets, so I'm doing rubber and bracelets. And also, when me and Megan was getting the pencils. Um, the, when they was playing basketball, they hit Megan in the okay. back on purpose, and they also grabbed me on my arm. Okay, right now we um, see their job is to disturb what we're trying to build here. That's why I prefer y'all not to go. I, I thought about it after you, you know, you left, because but my job is to, you know, their job is to disturb the program. Our job is to make this get this financial literacy done. So I'll deal with them when we get that done. See, but anyway. Um, yes, as you were saying. Um, also I do bracelets and I make different kinds of bracelets. 
So let's say if someone likes money, I will make a green and white and black bracelet. Mm -hmm. But if they want to, I can do mermaid style mm -hmm. of bracelets, and I can do multiple different types of bracelets. Okay. So have you seen me wearing bracelets before? Yes. I wore I wore bracelets and who? Where did I get my bracelets? You got your bracelets from CC. Um, and then you also got your bracelets from Jayla <coughs> and Megan. And I got Megan <laughs> from Megan. Exactly. What's my favorite color? Your favorite color is black. Black. That's right. And I've been asking mm. for a, a, a bracelet which, which, with what on it? Mm. Uh, charms that motivate you. Thank you. Words or charms that motivate me. What's another thing? What's my daughter into? Chemistry. Chemistry, oh, and she likes, <sighs> and she wants to be a doctor. So also, you like the periodic table. Periodic table. See, so I could be a potential customer. Um, uh, Braylon, what? Right now, I'm working on um, building up my Amazon business, having okay. my mother help me with it, and I'm thinking about like. Selling things like my old shoes and stuff and refurbish them. Same like that gentleman's doing. Yeah. Not even just that though too, like uh necklaces and stuff like that or chains. Okay, so like so back to uh Scott real quick. I'm gonna come back to you, uh, uh Raymond. What's the name of your business? Skyland Bracelets. So y'all using your names. Skyland Bracelets. Okay, that's good. Sky bracelets. Sky bracelets, I like that. Alright, so um what what's your Amazon business? What kind of business you try to do with Amazon? Oh, just sell things. But I know I know what I want to sell. Sometimes I help my mother with baskets and stuff, and she paid me the other half. Oh, okay, really? so you want to do sell baskets? I could do that and okay. sell other things too. Okay, now what what if I came to you and said, um, bro? What if I came to you and said, okay, I would like to put some of my products with yours. So you're basically trying to make it an online store through Amazon. Yes. So I say, I'm going to give you these, some of my African art and some of my art. And I need you, this is the price I want. You get percentage. Would you be willing to be in the contract with me for that? No, these, yes or no. Let me shake your head. Yes or no. Yeah. Which means you can make what? You can make what? More money. More money. You saw that works? Business. Did we borrow any money? No. We deal with investments. We don't borrow, we don't beg. Young man. We don't beg. We don't borrow and all that. We we now Cameron did what? Don't say it, Cameron. Cameron did what to put into his business? What did he do? He saved money. He and saved his money. When I do a lot, I take my money. When I finish buying something, I take my money. And I come home and I have change. I got one of those water bottles, not your thing to tip over the yeah. water. I got one of those. I think those are great banks. Okay. And I always put my change in those banks. Go home and it's, it's, it's building. But I always put my change in that because I'm doing what with my money? Mm -hmm. Saving. Saving for what? The old word. The old word. Uh, saving for what? Opportunity. opportunity. Saving for an opportunity. Saving for an opportunity. So, uh, Ryan, how's the music business? Or how's the music? I don't know if you're doing the, doing a business with it at all. Great. So, how much money have you made? Like. Line it up, line it up. I don't be trusting you, I probably made like. Probably or no probably, either. yes or no? Like $20. $20? Yes. Doing the, how, how are you doing that with your, bro, is this, just, is this something with your body? Relax, sit down and relax and listen. Sit back in the chair. So, you made $20. If you don't mind us asking how. All right, so basically, this dude wanted to wanted to buy one of my beats I made, and I said, give me $20, and I'll give it to you, and you did. He did it? Yes. So, who do you know that does that for a living and built a big business? A lot of people. No, name me somebody specifically. All right. Zay Tobin. Yeah. I use Zay Beats a lot. somebody that's, that's big. Oh, Zay Tovin. He's bigger than he's bigger than the guy who's working with Adidas. Yeah. Who is that? Kanye. Oh, Metro Booming. Cool. Metro Booming. Kanye West is what I'm talking. And Metro Booming. 
Drake. Okay. But I'm I talking use about, beats but right a lot. now, for sake of conversation, let's stick with Kanye West. Mm-mm. Kanye West was continuously selling beats. He wasn't doing nothing extra. He was selling beats. And he kept selling his beats. He kept sticking by it and selling his beats. And until he just built a, a music empire, which is great. Now, um, how could I become one of your customers, Ryan? Could you straighten that out, please? Uh, can you straighten that out, please? Oh, oh yeah. How could you? How can I be um, one of your customers? Ask me First of all, people, when I say how can I be one of your customers, you would have to know what I'm about. See, that's something you need to know when it comes to your customers. You need to know almost everything about them. Cameron, what is my birthday? Put me on the spot like that. I'm just saying. No, I'm going to say it. When was my daughter's birthday? Wasn't you in the classroom when I said it? Did you know it? No. My birthday is 10 days after Megan's birthday. Her birthday is. Not that hard. Can't believe you. It. Her birthday is December 13th. When is my daughter's birthday? You said 10 days after the 23rd. Okay, the 23rd of what? December. December. What's the most important thing in my life? Your daughter. Okay, so that's a potential customer. So, my daughter, what kind of gym shoe she like? Crocs. Gym shoe. She wears Crocs. Well, okay, where did, why does she wear Crocs? Because they're comfortable? No. Not the, why? Oh, because of the little charm? No. Oh. What does she do? Oh, she working uh chemistry. Get together. She what? Chemistry. What doing? No, she's a. She's a. Oh, uh, she's a. Chemist. She's a chemist. Yeah. See, you see what I'm saying about knowing your customer? The more you know about your customer, the more there is the potential over opportunity. Opportunity for sales. Mm-hmm. Knowing your customer. My birthday is March 16th, by the way. Knowing your customer. What's my what's one of my what's my favorite shoe design that you've seen on my feet? Adidas. Adidas, you're paying attention. Very important. Very important. New balance. I don't wear new balance. He's wearing Adidas right now. I wear Adidas right now. Oh. I wear Adidas, which is something. But you have to know your customer. You have to know your customer. Megan, yes. what kind of food I like to eat? A lot. <laughs> what Straight. kind of food? Alfredo. We were just in. What? Alfredo. Fettuccine Alfredo. Okay. What was we in there talking about earlier? What was, what was in there talking? The food I made. You no, know, no. What was we talking about? You said. Oh, we were talking about. You were talking, talking about your. Uh, no, no. You uh, was saying. You were saying what you was made. What? You were saying about how her other customer didn't show up. No, no, no. It's, no, no. She was, she was saying how she cooks and how it's kind of hard to make. And Frank was oh, saying, red beans and rice. Red beans and rice is one of my favorite. A black people thing. Favorite dish. See what I'm saying? Actually, so did. that's one of my favorite dishes. So yeah. I thought it was gumbo. Louisiana. Which is Louisiana gumbo. Falls under Louisiana, not just African American. Exactly. Yeah, that what is actually Creole. So get together. So that means that Creole. Megan. She knows, okay, I know if I make a, if I make a, a what do you call it, a Creole New, New Orleans type dish, I know Coach going to be wanting to get this because he loves that. You see what I'm saying? So, uh, uh, this young man right here. Ooh, let me see. Hmm. What's my favorite subject? Hmm? Hey, it's the camera. What? Business. Business. So, and what you just say? Reading. He said reading. She said business and reading. You put them together, what you got? No. What you got? He said reading and business. When you put them together, what you got? What would be a good gift for me? A business uh, book. A business book. Excellent. You see what I'm saying? Knowing your customer. Mm. Very important. Very important. They had this thing called a McKay 66. I read the book about McKay 66. Well, 66 things you need to know about your customers. Look it up. It's called McKay 66. Can I look it up right now? You can look it up right now if you can. McKay 66. It's 66 things you need to know about your customer. So you make that list. It's called McKay. Write it down. M-C-K-A-Y 66. What's time I got, Ryan? What's time I got? You got... You got 14 and 40, uh, 14 minutes and okay, 40 Okay, we're going to get seconds. down to five. I want to close this out. The McKay 66. What time is it, Megan? 6.47. Yep. 
Okay, we got in the case 66. 66 things you need to know about your customer. Very important. Like the birth date. And when you follow up, say if say follow up. Stand up, sit up, man. Follow up. Okay. So, Skyler, if I'm getting your bracelets and I like your bracelets, what should you do to make sure I buy more bracelets? Make more bracelets. No, that's not going to make me buy them. What's going to make me buy them? What, what, oh. what did Megan ask me when she was in there about her food? What did she say? She said, bread, beans, and... No, no, no. What did you say, Megan? About? About the plate that I, uh, I got from you. Oh, I asked, I asked how, how was it? You asked you me, did you say, No, 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 listen. Oh, I she, she said, what's the feed? Coach. You never gave me any feedback on my plate, on my food. So basically, we're trying to say, he, if he gives you feedback on the bracelet and it was good, he's he going to come back to my bracelet because the feedback was good. The service was good. Right? Exactly. And I'm also going to tell you why it was good. And then you take that information and say, hmm, okay. Boom. But I'm also going to say some, I may say some constructive criticism, which you can't get in your feelings about it. Say, you know what? I may say, well, Megan, not Megan, I may say, uh, Skyler, the bracelets, uh, it, it, it's, it, it's, it itched or it, 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 it wasn't, I'm an, active, I'm an active person, so it broke and fell apart. So you got to be like, oh, what can I do to make sure it don't break and fall apart? Because that's something else to know about me. I'm a very active person. Very active person. But like Megan said, Megan, her food that she made, the stir fry, was absolutely delicious. The rice was good. I don't know how to usually, you know how, I don't even know how to make rice myself, either it's mushy or hard. Matter of fact, I don't even like to cook no more. It's supposed to be like that. You see what I'm saying? So, Megan, it was delicious. So, like I said, I know Megan can cook. I know she, you know, she does that. So, if she ever make any stir fry or whatever, she you know I'm, I could be a customer. So, he's talking about shoes. I love shoes. One of my um, my cousin cousin showed me how to clean shoes with awesome. What my cousin does now, he designs. Excuse me. He takes shoes, new shoes. He takes new shoes and he um, he's, he doesn't design it. He, mm, them? no, he, when you boot spruce them up, he. Put the strings in. What did he do? He, he, he spruces them up. For lack of a better Booster. phrase, he, no, he personalizes them. I'm trying to get that word out. He customizes? He customizes. <laughs> yes, he customizes shoes. That's what he does. So right now he's working on a product right now. I buy the shoes for a hundred dollars, and then he takes the material as low as he can get it, and he buys the um, he buys the shoe. He buys no, excuse me, he buys the material and he puts it on the shoe. But he only works with new shoes. So now I got a pair of um, Adidas. I got a pair of course I got a pair of Adidas shell toes. I only wore them once. Now you could possibly clean the shoe to make it so clean that he wouldn't mind working on it. Because what I did, I took my shoe, I sprayed some awesome on it, and I was putting it in the washing machine, not at home drying. Because the shoes have to look clean and neat. You can also, how can you grow that business? We're gonna close out after this. How can you grow that business? You clean what? Shoes. You clean what kind of shoes? shoes. You said you clean gym shoes. My okay, shoes. Okay, you clean gym shoes. So how can he expand his business, Skyler? No, no, let us, what's that good? What, okay, Megan, what can yeah. he do to expand his business? Um, you could, you could try and clean, like, like dress shoes, you know, dress shoes, like leather shoes. Exactly. And, you know, what people, boots? yeah, people be fancy exactly. on these days, so if people go out and they, like, their shoes be dirty, you can clean them up real quick and they can keep it going. Exactly. So See that? Smart. You can do that. And what you can do, you can, the, the best thing to do is study your craft. Study what you do. I my gym my dress shoes when I wear them they have to be beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now I wear Johnson and Murphys. Remember that I wear Johnson and Murphys. I wear classic shoes with my uh, with my um, mm -hmm. suits. But my shoes have to shine. I don't want to flaw on them. If my shoes are black, every portion of my shoe has to be black. And like I say, you can expand. But then what I want to see you doing, and I would be an investor, is do what? If you want to completely be independent, is do what? Reinvest in what? Mm -hmm. My business? Yes. 
I'm talking about being completely independent. Uh, I thought that was the answer, reinvesting to my business. You reinvest in what, though? Because right now you clean shoes. Where you get your shoes from? Uh, people. People, other people. Okay, where they get shoes from? Uh, stores. Stores. Okay, Megan, what can he do? He can, um, he can re reinvest in cleaning supplies. No. He wants to be completely independent. Oh, what? I see what you're talking about. So you want me to go to the stores and go to, like, the... No, what are the stores? What what, how do the shoes... What's up? How do the shoes get to the stores? The manufacturer. The who? The manufacturer. Say that word again. The manufacturer. What does manufacturing the, mean? The person that's making the shoes. The person that's doing what? Making them. That The key word in that sentence is what? Making. Making. So now, to be completely independent, you'll go out like Nike. Nike makes shoes and sells them. Have you ever seen that? Your, your homework is that uh, movie, Air. I want you to get that movie and watch it. Because cleaning shoes is fine. You generate money. But one day you want to be able to manufacture your own shoe. Where's your phone? In my pocket. How much is the, how, who was first of all, who's the founder of Nike? You mean Nike? Nike, Nike, however. Mm. Who's the founder? I don't know who the founder is. And there's some things that I don't know when you're in my class. I'm about to look it up. Dang. His name is Philip Knight. You keep going. Now how do I know that? Can you study your craft? Read. I study your craft. But most likely I read and I study my craft. So how much is the owner of Nike worth? How much is Nike worth? No, no, no. The owner. Have a seat, brother. Fifty billion. I can't hear you. Fifty billion as of twenty twenty. Fifty what? Fifty billion as of twenty twenty. Did you say that with a B? Yeah, billion. Fifty billion. Now, what was the name of this country before it came Nike? Don't go Nike. Yeah. Nike. I don't know. It was a thing I don't know. It starts with a B. It slips my mind right now as well. So, Megan, look up the name of the company before it was Nike. When he first started, what's the name of the company? Starts with a B. Come on, man. Keep it, keep it straight, man. You're killing me. What's the name of the company before it was nice? Blue Ribbon Sports Inc. I can't hear you. Oh, Blue, Blue Ribbon, Ribbon Sports Inc. Everybody say that. Blue, Blue Ribbon, Ribbon Sports, Sports Inc. What did you just say, Cameron? Blue Ribbon Sports Inc. No, no, what did you just say before you said that? Oh, I said I wasn't going to get that. Why not? Because I never did no research on that. Boom. And what you need to do? Do some research on Do your research. That. Basically, if it looks like she she cooks, she needs to know the greatest person that's doing it for that. I'm seeing she making jewelry. She needs to study Gucci. She needs to study the people that's making the biggest, the biggest jewelry company in the world. It's like I told my daughter, she's doing chemistry. You got two options. You can either make $200,000 a year working for industry, 250, or you can be like the biggest chemical company in the world, BASF. They made 70 billion last year. So what you wanna make, 250,000? A year, or possibly seventy billion. Okay. What would you take? Seventy, 70 billion. billion. But you have to be committed to that. And and on the way to that seventy billion, it's gonna be a lot of people and things that's gonna try to stop you. Especially <laughs> in black. There's gonna be so many people. They're not gonna invest in you. They're not gonna help you. They don't even want to hear you talk about it. Simply because of what we just discussed when we first sat down is what? What did we discuss when we first sat down? Rosa we Park. was talking about Rosa Parks. We was talking about the fact. Boycott. We talked about the boycott. And why, why, why couldn't we get there? Because we were what? Here. We couldn't get to the, we couldn't get to the fact of what we could have did at that time, that have been more powerful was do what? Because we was bamboozled. 
because we were bamboozled. And the majority of your people are bamboozled. And they get bamboozled every day. Because, and it's hard. See, it's one thing. I'm going to end it right now. I'm going to say this. It's one thing to have shackles on your feet and look over and see freedom. It's another thing to have shackles on your mind. Because when you look over yonder, you can't see freedom because it's on your mind. See? The shackles went off our, 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 our legs and off our wrists. And now the shackles are on our minds, which is even worse slavery. But you can, you can battle it by doing what? Reading and studying your craft and being, um, being committed and having a vision. Mm. All right? Yes, so we got to the 24th people. Um, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need to see some plans. I'm gonna need to see at least. I know y'all be hard for y'all to come and show up and all that, but text me. I'm gonna need to see some of uh, like uh, like when you're doing a research paper or beginning of your plan. Beginning of your plan. How how your project gonna look? Cause we talking about having you financed. We talk about business here. This, you know, another thing I want y'all to think about, all of y'all, going global with your business, not just being a neighborhood business. Making sure your business, but pay attention, young lady. Come on now, work with me. Making sure your business can be positioned to go global. And the name is important. You notice he switched it from what again? Mm -hmm. From Blue Rivers Inc. to Nike. To Blue Rivers Inc. to Nike. Now, how many letters is Nike? Four. 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 I told y'all six to eight letters. Just like Microsoft. You know, just like Apple. You know, these corporations are huge. All right, so we can cut it right now.